टुडे आई विल सॉल्व वन न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बाइनरीज इक्वेशन हेयर आई विल कैलकुलेट गॉज प्रेशर इन ए पाइप फ्लो सो हेयर इज द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो वाटर इज फ्लोइंग इन ए सर्कुलर पाइप एट वन सेक्शन ऑफ द डायमीटर इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री मीटर एंड द टैटिक प्रेशर इज टू सिक्सटी किलो पासकेल गॉज एंड वेलोसिटी इज थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड द एलिवेशन इज 10 meter above the ground level. So uh, this point, so I am considering as one point. So here V1 is 3 meter per second, diameter is 0.3 meter, and pressure here P is uh, P1 that is 260 kilopascal, and elevation is Z1 that is 10 meter. The elevation at a section downstream is 0 meter, so Z2 is 0. And the pipe diameter is 0.15 meter. And find out the gauge pressure at the downstream section. So frictional effect may be neglected. Assume density of water to be 99 kg meter cube. Now first uh, given data. So diameter is given D1, 0.3 meter. Diameter at section two, uh, diameter is given 0.15 meter. Z1 is 10 meter, Z2 is 0 meter, P1 is 160 kilopascal gauge, and velocity at section V1 is 3 meter per second, and density of water rho that is 99 kg per meter cube. Now, if we apply Bernoulli, sorry, first we have to apply continuity equation. So we know that continuity equation A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. So A1 uh, that will be Pi by 4 d1 square, a2 is pi by 4 d2 square. So a1 is nothing but pi by 4, 0.3 whole square. So that is 0.070 meter square. And a2 pi by 4, 0.15 whole square. So that is 0.0177 meter square. Now using continuity equation, so v2 is nothing but a1 v1 by a2. So 0.0707 into 3. Divided by a two, uh, a two will be something uh, here uh, that is something zero point one seven seven. So that is eleven point seven meter per second. Now after get so here v uh, two we got so v two is nothing but eleven point seven meter per second. So we know v two, we know v uh, one. P1, D1, and we have to calculate P2. So for that, we apply Bernoulli's equation. So P1 plus half rho V1 square, and then plus rho G Z1 is equal to P2 plus half rho V2 square plus rho G Z2. So now the rearrange to solve for the P2. So P2 will be P1. Plus half rho v1 square minus half rho v2 square plus rho g z1 minus z2. So now plug all these values. So 260 into 10 to the power 3 plus half 999 into uh, 3 square minus half 999 into 11.7 whole square plus 999 plus 9.81 into 10 minus 0. So now from here, so rho rho g z1 minus z2, so 10 minus. So now if I do the calculation, finally I'll get p2 is nothing but 289503 pascal, so 289.5 pascal. So gauge pressure at the downstream section is 289.5 kilopascal. So that's it. Thank you.